Hey, Jeff. Um, emotional two weeks for you guys coming off of uh, the outbreak to win both of these games. What did you learn about this team? We're we we a team. You know, just that word right there, a team. You know, adversity strike, and it's all about how you respond to adversity. Um, and I think this team, we fight to the end. You know, no matter what we go through, I mean, I mean, you see, and I mean, a lot of our games been close. Um, and we came out with, you know, a win. So it's just, it's, it's so much passion in this game. You know, I can see it out of the guys, you know, especially me, you know, speaking for myself, you know, I play this game with so much passion. And that's because I love this game and I love what I do. And, you know, every time I step on the field, I want to give it my all. And, you know, that's what I see from other teammates, especially if I can, you know, get an energy to the next guy and they give it to the next guy. You know, I think that's kind of how, our, even our, just our team, that's I think we, we respond to each other in situations like this, you know. I mean, getting a 5 0 is not um, easy. And, you know, especially last two weeks, it hasn't been easy for us, especially coming off a of, um, quick turnaround, playing on the Tuesday and coming right now today and playing the game. It's not easy. So, and I'm just, like I said, we have a great team. And that's the big word for us is team. We're playing team, team defense and team offense. We're just playing as a team. So, Kyle. Ron, PD. Yeah, Jeffrey, you made your presence felt right from the start. Uh, what's what's clicking for you as far as being able to collapse the pocket and even how they're using you in, in, in tandems with some of the outside backers? I, I mean, just like I said, every time I step on the field, you know, I'm going to make my presence felt. You know, um, I'm, I know these coaches. I know Coach Reb. I know Coach T. Coach Williams going to put me in a situation to help this team the best I can. You know, so far it's been a great, it's been great on, you know, first and second down, on third down, no, no matter what it is, like I said, every time I step on the field, I'm gonna give it my all, you know, tired, you know, limping, no matter what it is. I mean, I don't know, like, you know, cramping, you know, it's stuff like that, that, you know, no matter what, I'm not making no excuses. I want to give it my all, you know, you know, like I said, you never know when that play gonna come that you know, that you can make and change the game. So. That just be my mindset, you know. I'm, I want to attack everything and play with passion. So, I mean, that's been getting me, you know, this far. You know, I'm just keep it up. I'm not gonna change nothing. Just head down, full steam ahead. And after having that time away from the game, you know, during the whole process, uh, coming back this week, how, how did you feel uh, when when you got out there? I felt good, but like I said, it's. I mean, everyone knows about the COVID, um, and you know, it's kind of. It, it take away your condition that you you know you've been working on all camp and up until now. You know, like I say, it was it was kind of hard. You know, especially as this game went on for me. But like I said, I'm not making no excuses. You no, know? um, just keep fighting. Um, that's that's what we built on. You know, mental toughness, and you know that's what it was. And I just had to fight through a lot of um, tiredness. And you know, um, like I said, everyone knows about the COVID. You know, with the lungs and all that. So I just got to get back this week. You know, get some extra condition in. So, you know, we got another another tough game next week. So, I mean, I feel great out there, though. Luke. Jeffrey, what was it that changed or what about what Houston was doing or about what you all were doing in the third quarter that allowed them to, to really sort of turn things on then? Man, it's not nothing they did. You know, we, we just got to play more. You know, we got to communicate a little better, I think, on defense and, you know, affect the quarterback more. It's not – I mean, you know, we just can't, you know, especially, you know, that's what we talk about on defense, not giving up the big play. You know, take away their big plays, you know, they couldn't really do nothing. So, I mean, we just got to play better on defense. You know, we got to commun communicate better. And I, I trust the defense. I know we're going to fix it. You know, it's all coming together, you know. But like I said, at the end of the day, we came up big, you know, got to win. So, I mean, that's what for, you know, next week for, you know, come back, you know, fix this and, you know, just try to communicate better and just play more uh, as a team defense. And, you know, everything is going to take care of itself. So, Vrabel mentioned that for this defense, there are some uncharacteristic negative things that may be overshadowing what you all have been doing very well. What are some of those negative things that, as you're talking about, needs to get fixed? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm sure that that's with something with Vrabel, you know, especially he calling out, especially being the head coach, he see more as a um, coach and, you know, he know when something need to be fixed. So, I mean, I think I just need to leave that up to him to answer that. I mean, I don't know. And all I know, I, we, 
we need to get back to work and, you know, work on not giving up, you know, big plays and just, you know, playing more team defense. I mean, I don't know, you know, about negative things. You know, we just want to try to be a whole defense that, you know, that's stopping guys on first, second down and getting off the field on third down. Oh, Claire. Jeffrey, <clears throat> on the field there, what was the sense of how big a decision it was when Houston elected to go for two and, and sort of talk us through what, what you did on that play? I mean, just a mindset, you know, everything, you know, it's crazy because everybody say mindset, it's a mindset, you know, it's mental toughness. And in a situation like that, you know, it's all about who going to make a play. You know, you don't, like I said earlier in the interview, you don't ever know when that time will come that you could change the game. And of course, I think that play right there changed the game. You know, when they go for two, you know, I, me, I'm, I'm hyped. You know, I, I love it when they, uh, you know, apparently they don't trust that we can stop it on defense. So, the same time, you know, put your hand in the ground, let's play football. And my mind said, you know, get penetration. But I know it's a quick pass in which I know from, especially from last year, you know, on the goal line, he gonna throw the ball short. I mean, on uh, low, it's released low. He's trying to get the ball quick. So I know that if we get our hands up, we get better ball or anything like that. And that's what I did. You know, I, I seen him take his hand off the ball, you know, as a quarterback, you know, he take his um, none throwing hand off the ball, it's coming out and I knew it was gonna be low. So I got my hand up and uh, batted the ball. So it just defensive line play, just line up, read your keys, you know, get off the ball. And like I said, when his hand come out the ball, get your hands up. Corey Curtis. Jeff, that Texans defense looked pretty gassed at OT. How big was that coin flip? It was, it was, it was big. You know, I, it, it's crazy because as you, I, I see this offense every day in practice. I see how much they work and I see – especially with the O-line, I see how much, you know, they be tired at practice because they working so hard. And, you know, everything, gonna, as we say, is going to pay off. And as we've seen today that I think we have, I think I've been hearing guys say 600 some yards on offense, you know, credit to them guys. You know, we, I, I was saying on the sideline, we built for this. And, you know, them guys, man, props to them, especially um, Derek, you know, and all the other guys are coming in when guys need a um, breathing. And it just, like I said, we played team um, ball today. And, and I'm excited for this, uh, for this, what our future may be, so. Jim Wyatt. Jer Jeffrey, I guess just how much fun is it to win a game like this? And this team seems to have a knack for being able to win games late. You know, just what's the excitement level when you win in OT and the game, it's a game of walk-off? It's crazy. I mean, you know, a lot of guys, like, you know, Vrabe asks how many times, I mean, how many guys on this team been 5-0 and in this league? You know, there's not many guys who've been 5-0. I know me personally, you know, this is my second year. I haven't been 5-0 and since my freshman year of high school. Winning is fun. I mean, we take care of the right things. You know, you win throughout Monday through Saturday. The way we prepare as a team, you know, I think that's going to keep having us getting um, wins. And I say it's lovely getting wins. You know, winning in this league, you hear it all the time, especially me, I hear it all the time from Brave. It's not easy. And, you know, just to see – our offense, our defense, and special team coming together as a team today and get a win, you know, it's no better feeling than getting a W and going to 5-0. and Like I say, it wasn't easy, but at the same time, you know, we built for it. You know, we go overtime, offense go on the field first. I had no doubt that we wasn't going to score. So I knew we was going to score. You know, we went down and scored. So I say we just – we built for it. So. What were you doing on Henry's 94-yard run? I mean, you're getting ready to go back out there yourself, I guess. Did you see it on the video board? Did you see it live? And, and I saw I, I saw it live. I saw it the whole time. I'm like, uh-oh, touchdown. I saw it out the gate. And me personally, I, I said, I didn't think – I never knew. You know, I didn't see him break the run. I didn't see him. But I didn't think he was that fast. And today he showed me he he, he going. So, um, and I'll props to Derry, man. He a workhorse. As, um, like, the still form last week, you know, he said he need to stop doing curls. Like, I see it personally, you know. I see it every day. Like, I don't think no one work hard as there. And, you know, it pays off on, on Sundays or you know, whenever we play. And like I said, props to him. That guy, he, he the king. I'm going to dive in if nobody else has one. Uh, Jeffrey, um, I, I guess just your mentality since you've been back and, and kind of been a, a wrecking ball out there, how, how much did you want to kind of be a force this season? And do you feel like you're doing what you want to do? Oh, for sure. You know, I think um, there's always room to get better. 
But at the same time, you know, I came in this season with my with a mindset that, you know, I'm going to be dominant. I want to help this team the best way I can. And, you know, playing defensive line is not easy. But at the same time, you know, with my mindset coming in this season, coming into the game of football, you know, I'm going to give it my all. And every time I step on the field, I keep saying it, you know, I want to play with passion. I want to bring the energy to the defense and to the team. And I say, I, I think it's been going good so far, but uh, like I said, I have a lot of room to get better. And um, the coaches on this team, Coach Ray, Coach T, you know, this whole staff, you know, I think I know that they're going to put me in a better situation. I mean, keep putting me in a situation to keep making plays for this team. And you know, like I said, I came in the season, you know, eager, you know, especially with the COVID, you know, setting it back a little bit. Came in the season saying, I'm going to be dominant. And I've been working out so far so good. And you know, it's, it's, it don't stop here. All right, I got one for you, Jeffrey. Did you actually wear that jersey in high school or did you get that made? I couldn't hear you. Did you actually wear that jersey in high school or do you have that one made? Well, I got it made. I got it made. Um, you know, it was just, you know, you think back, at especially where you came from, you know, I, we didn't have a big school. But at the same time, you know, um, that's what it's about, you know, giving back, showing my uh, respect to my high school, showing, you know, that, you know, I, I haven't forgot where I came from. You know, that was it all about, you know, show, the, show them high school kids or, you know, even, you know, the um, small kids in the elementary school, middle school, whatever, that, you know, it could be, it could be them on this level, you know, just, that's just me, you know, want to give back and show that, you know, it's just not me that can make it to this level. Keep working hard and first, like I said, take care of them books, you know, it's, everything is playing out right. So that's just me trying to give back to my high school by showing respect to them.